So what's really the difference between selling something like this or like this versus selling something like this from Amazon or your very own digital product? To be honest, there's not a whole lot. But in this video, I'm actually going to go through nine high income skills that you can use for both your direct sales business, but also to help you expand beyond. Stay tuned. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If we haven't met yet, my name is Shane and this is Operation Passive Income helping you to build new online businesses, create new passive income streams, and helping you to expand your brand online. And in tonight's video, I'm gonna be going through nine high income skills that will help you in both your direct sales business, but also to help you grow beyond. And the reason why I feel like these two things tie back together is what is direct sales, except for just a different version of affiliate marketing. Now, if you've never heard the term affiliate marketing, really all it is, is you are marketing a product for another company. Now that type of marketing can be either for something like this, which we sell, we recommended on Amazon, or even an app like Synthshare. So those are a couple of affiliate products that we've sold doing aff affiliate marketing. Or, if you're doing direct sales, something like a pampered chef where you're selling pots and pans and knives and little kitchen tools, you're selling those products for another company as an independent consultant. Well, what's really the difference between those two? There's really not a lot. The biggest difference is you just don't have to sign a contract with Amazon to sell anything from their website. And the really cool thing is you can just recommend things that you use in your everyday life. But also at the beginning of this video, I also mentioned, you know, digital products. That's a place that me and my wife, we started a business all around selling digital products. And we actually sell digital products to direct sellers to help them save time in their business and also help them convert more sales. But in that, in all of those things, this is where developing these high income skills, okay? And these are skills that specifically will help you in your direct sales business but it also transfers to other forms of online business. And there's so many different types of online businesses that you can form. And here's what I encourage you. Do not limit yourself to just one income stream. And that's part of what this channel is all about. So when I say Operation Passive Income, we're about helping you start new online businesses, create new passive income streams. Well, it's all about creating multiple income streams. Now, if you have not seen my video that I set yet of how we actually created an online business that helped us generate just about $80,000 in the last year from home, direct sales was one of those income streams. However, it was not our only one. In fact, we expanded to have, I think, seven different income streams over the last year, and it's by exercising these high income skills that I'm gonna go through with you tonight. So if you wanna see all of those, all the way down to the end on what you need to do to improve upon these and help you expand your brand, then make sure you watch all the way through the rest of the video. Now, before I jump into this list, if you guys are interested in this stuff on how you can maybe make some more money from home and start doing this stuff on your own, make sure to take a quick second, click that little subscribe button down below. I post new videos every Thursday and Monday or Monday and Thursday, whichever part of the week you start at. This is gonna be a Thursday video. But once you hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell. And on that little bell, it's actually going to let you know when I put a new video out. If you don't click the bell, then YouTube doesn't want to let you know. Also, if you are selling in a direct sales company, leave a comment down below. I want to know where we're bringing everybody in from. And if you might have an idea of a different passion that you might have on how you can take your audience and expand upon that, I want to know, what are you kind of thinking about? If you were to start a new online business all your own, what would it be? All right, so now that we're ready and we've gone through all of that stuff, let's go ahead and jump in with number one. And I'm gonna try and write not in chicken scratch, but number one is copywriting. Now, a lot of times when people think of copywriting, they're thinking about if you have copyright infringement. That's not what I'm talking about. Copywriting is the ability to write text that converts people into sales. 
Now, if you're in direct sales already, you're probably already doing this to a degree. If you've ever hosted a Facebook party, or if you've ever done anything as far as conducting an email that generates a sale, then that is a form of copywriting. And in fact, that is exactly the full digital product that we got into that we sell, is we do copywriting for others through the purchase of a Facebook party script. But also copywriting can come in a lot of different forms. If you're writing a sales funnel, that is copywriting. If you're writing a blog post that, or a review that is intended to generate a click or a sale, that is copywriting. So why is copywriting one of these nine high income skills and why do I call it a high income skill? Well, the reason being is if you think about it, marketing for companies is everything. Sales generates all of the revenue that most companies bring in, right? Well, copywriting can come in so many different forms. Even if you're doing an Instagram post, all that writing that you put down in the actual post itself, that is copywriting writing interesting things that people want to read that gets them to pull an action. Okay, those are words that generate a trigger. You're pulling a lever. Copywriters, professional copywriters, can earn six, even seven figures for some companies. But this is a practice skill. This is something you can learn how to do better. And YouTube right here has a huge education all about copywriting. All right, getting into number two. And number two can be considered kind of similar, but it's still different. And that is content marketing. Now content marketing is different from copywriting because some of it is not intended to actually create a sale right now. Instead, what you are doing is you are marketing both yourself and your business through the production of content. Content similar to this, similar to a blog post, similar to a Facebook post, an Instagram post that's not intended to actually sell anything, but something that is going to just be useful information. It's things that are going to just attract customers to you or even attraction marketing that makes them go, hmm, I really like that video they did. I wanna know a little bit more. That is the art of content marketing. It's creating content to market your personal brand. Now again, this is something that in a direct sales company you should already be doing, but you may not have taken the time to learn everything there is around content marketing. A lot of people, they won't even actually go and search the subject content marketing because sometimes they don't even realize exactly what it is that they're doing. They're just seeing that that's what other people are doing, so they just kind of go after it. What I'm encouraging you guys, as we get through all nine on this list, that you take the time, jot these down as a note, but go and find these different topics and you want to get at least a base understanding of them. Now, at the end of this video, I'm actually gonna go through and I'm gonna give you guys a couple extra tips on top of just listing these out on how you can go through and find ways to study these and even try and become a master at at least one. All right, so now we're getting into number three which is kind of similar to the, the number two, but it is social media marketing. Now, so what's the difference between content marketing and social media marketing? Well, some of it is actually very similar. However, the biggest difference is with content marketing, you're thinking more of long form. Okay, you're creating a blog post, you're creating a YouTube video, you're creating a long form reading content on an Instagram message, where social media marketing is really doing it more through your major social media platforms, your Facebook, your Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and some of those things. Now, every platform tends to be a little bit different. So even under your social media marketing, you're going to want to pick one to two platforms and really get to know them first, build up a platform within those. And then from there, you should start to brand out. Okay. Even and one that is being talked about a lot right now, two that are being talked a lot right now, is both LinkedIn and TikTok. Those are two that are, have a lot of organic reach right now where somebody can gain a large following and get or that organic outreach a lot faster than some of these more developed platforms like Facebook, like Instagram, like Twitter. 
Now, social media marketing gives you the power to actually take these first three and combine it into one to blast that out through the social media networks and ha attract more people in to get them into your sales funnel. Now, how do you use social media marketing to actually expand your brand beyond your direct sales business? Well, by getting people to like you on your normal Facebook versus just your business page, right? And now if you're running a business page where you're just focusing in on the products you sell, like Pampered Chef or Sensi, you're 31. If you get more people to actually follow just you on Facebook or your personal Instagram on Facebook, and then you talk about something that you use a lot, like one of these, you can just say, oh man, one tool that's completely, completely out there that I use all the time is my little tripod. And you put that on an Instagram post with an affiliate link, people can go through and buy this from you also, but they don't have to go through a company's page to do it. And you're not really hurting your other following, your actual business page, because you're, this is just you, it's your personal brand. But we're gonna keep the list moving. So we're gonna get into number four, which is SEO. So SEO stands for search engine optimization. That might sound intimidating because that's not something that a lot of people in direct sales do. However, there's, here's the big reason why you need to. So let's say you're building your direct sales business. That's where you decide to start. And, but you decide that you want to start expanding your personal brand. So you do a couple of things. You start a YouTube channel and you start a website. Well, within both of those, all of that information can be found through Google on both YouTube or through the normal interwebs. But with search engine optimization, what that does is it allows people to search for keywords. And if that's the topic that you are actually writing about and you learn search engine optimization on how to manipulate your metadata, how to manipulate your title and how to fit keywords into your actual content, people can find you through the search engine. This is another way for you to organically expand yourself and continue to grow a different business or even your direct sales business. If your actual blog talks about recipes and different ways that you cook vegan meals, but you're also a Pampered Chef consultant, you can kind of combine both through and sell more of your product by doing copywriting, content marketing, and being found with better search engine optimization. Okay, so we've made it through four on the list and we're getting a little bit more complicated as we go, right? But still, I do not want you to be intimidated by any of this. Every ounce of this can be learned. There's so much information here on the internet that you can get a free education on literally all of this. In fact, when I started our online business, when Janet and I started our online business just less than a year ago, I knew nothing. I knew nothing about search engine optimization. And in fact, I'm still learning. I knew nothing about content marketing but we're learning and we're figuring out how all of these pieces get put together. We didn't know how to really copyright until we realized we were actually pretty good at doing copywriting. The moral of the story is with each one of these that we put on this list, you can take the time. You can take the time to learn these high income skills that will help you grow. It will help you expand your brand. It will help you connect different ideas that your direct sales business can be just one part of your business, but you can also do more. There's other things that you're passionate about and you can create more than one income stream for yourself. I know because that's what we did and that's why I'm telling you. And now that I've gone through my little rant, let's get to number five, which is affiliate marketing. Now, if you were not listening at the beginning of this video, Affiliate marketing and direct sales are almost the same thing. You are selling a product that somebody else made for a commission. That is, that is it. That is affiliate marketing. Now what becomes really interesting is affiliate marketing kind of gets this negative connotation within the direct sales community when it's really just the same thing. It's just recommending something that you use, something that you love in your business. But what is, what really is the difference? So you sign up with the direct sales company, you decide you're going to sell these products. However, if you also love a particular app that you use or a software that you use, you really believe in 
QuickBooks or SimShare or, you know, these little tripods, something that you find on Amazon. Just by recommending those things, when you sign up for these affiliate programs, typically they do require you to have a website, which is why I recommend the copywriting, the content marketing, and the SEO stuff around it. But you can sign up for these affiliate programs, and in those affiliate programs, you can, you can find different brands. If you really are a fan of Adidas, you can become an affiliate for Adidas and sell Adidas online. And then if anybody clicks on your link and buys within a certain period of time, you earn a commission. There's really no difference. You're just doing it alone. The, the only real difference between the two is you're not signing anybody up underneath you. You're just kind of your own little entity. But again, you can do this in conjunction with your direct sales business. Now, disclaimer, some direct sales companies do have it in their uh, hand, consultant handbooks that you cannot do affiliate marketing to your customers within your, your customer group. So make sure that if this is something you're going to do, that it's done through a separate page or, a, or through your personal page and your direct sales business is separate. So always refer back to your consultant handbook if that might be the case. All right, but we are on to number six on this list, which is live video. Now for a lot of direct sellers, live video really is king, but to do anything in the online business at all, live video is king. By jumping on live and talking to people directly, you can get people to stop and engage with you and ask questions and you can respond and they can see your personality come through the lens right onto their screen. Live video is one of the best high income skills online right now that you can use in any business, but especially in your direct sales business. If you guys have seen my wife over in Janice Personalized Solutions for sellers, we have both our Facebook group and our website. She goes live like all the time. It's sometimes it's a couple times a week and then she's going live in her parties and then she's going live in our academy and it's, it's all the time. Live video connects with people. Now you may not be super comfortable going live right away. And I'll be honest, it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. In fact, what I'm doing right now is not the most comfortable thing in the world, which is why I'm actually going to go ahead and write out number seven. And we're going to talk about live video and number seven together. And number seven is video editing. If you're not comfortable going live at first, try just recording a video and editing it down to a product that you like a product that you think is going to connect well with your customers. And it may not need to be live just necessarily. And sometimes you can just go through and take the time and record first and just practice those editing skills that can get it down to, like I said, something that you feel more comfortable putting out on the internet. Now, whether it's going to be number six or number seven, I still recommend you work on both of these high income skills as video is king online right now short form video, long form video, live video, all three of those are incredible strategies that work in both your direct sales business online, creating live, hey, live videos that show product to your customers that actually allow them to connect with you on an emotional level. You become friends with the people that you tend to follow and watch on video. That's why I can say that live video is the reason we were able to grow a group to over almost 7,000 people at this point. And that's why if you're going to be doing these and you want to expand your brand, live video and recorded video and having the skill of video editing, being able to crop things together, give it a great appearance are two incredible high income skills that you need to work on in 2020. Now, number eight on this list is one that tends to be a little bit more intimidating and that is web development. But I can tell you, it's nowhere near as scary as what people make it out to be. And I know this because I didn't know how to do it, and yet I've now done it. I've actually had the ability to create three different websites. One you can find down in the description here on Operation Passive Income. That is a blog that I created that actually walks people through new passive income streams and how to build businesses online. 
but also you can check out our website for direct sellers at JanicePersonalizedSolutions.com. That is going to be down in the description below as well. And that is not anything that we have outsourced whatsoever. I went into all of this having never done it, but when you use WordPress, okay, and if you're, I do recommend if you're going to start a website, do it through WordPress. In fact, I recommend Bluehost. You can start a website for like $3.95 a month. It's that cheap. It's not that expensive and you can have your own little piece of real estate online, but you don't even have to make it public yet. In fact, even if you create a website, you can work on it for a while before you publish it. But that becomes the place where you can take all of these high income skills, right? Your copywriting, your content marketing, and you can track it back to your website. If you do a live video or you do a video editing, uh, you create, you know, a edited video, you can use those to track it back to your website. You can write an article about things that you use, things that, things that you like, that you recommend to others and put in affiliate marketing links. All of these things tend to go in together and it all stems down from the high income skill of web development. Now, me not being a master at how to build websites or really write articles, these are all things that I'm still new at as well, but I'm advocating it because when you learn, man, like the, the, the possibilities are truly endless. Now, a couple channels that I highly recommend is first is Daryl Wilson. And I have a link to his YouTube channel down below. I learned how to make my websites by watching his videos. He, had, he does these incredible step-by-step -step tutorials and he shows you exactly how to do it. The other one is Income School and their YouTube channel, also in the description below, they have incredible, incredible videos on how to write blog articles using search engine optimization that will actually be found through Google searches. And you can use those same SEO practices in videos that you put on YouTube. Okay, you kind of starting to see how all of this goes together, like all of this stuff works. And a lot of them you may actually be using right now, but there's the one final piece that starts to bring all of this together. And that is why I put it best one for last, right? And that is how to create a personal brand. Creating a personal brand, both in your direct sales business and in any other online business ventures that you want to start, your ability to personally brand yourself is paramount. And this comes from kind of developing a little bit of charisma, a little bit of presence, how to actually write and have a branding colors. How you brand yourself is one of the best high income skills, especially as we look off into the future. If any of you guys have been watching anything of this presidential election cycle, you're hearing a lot of things about automated automation happening in our industries. We're seeing retail places close down. But the internet unlocks all of this for everyone, right? It unlocks the ability for us to create personal brands around ourselves, market products that maybe we either create, develop, or if anything, recommend. And we can use our personal brand for all of this other stuff, for your direct sales business, for your website, for your YouTube channel, for your social media, for your content, for your copywriting. Personal branding connects all of it. Being able to go through and say, our colors are this, my titles are going to look like this, my thumbnails are going to look like this, my blog posts are going to read like this, personal branding brings it all together. There it is. There's nine high income skills, but don't leave yet. I got one more else, one more thing that I wanna tell you about. Now, are there more skills other than these nine that you can develop? Absolutely, there's a graphic design, there's there's, there's a ton, like there's so many skills that you may not have yet that you need to develop. However, by focusing on one of these at a time and by taking the time, maybe two hours a day, instead of watching that video on Netflix, instead of binge watching another series, take some time away from that and go Google search some of these. Google search how to get better at copywriting how to do content marketing, how to do search engine optimization, how to build a website. Because me and Janet took the time to actually just search for these things 
and read and watch some of these boring videos, it's given us the ability to do stuff like this. It gave us the ability to create an entire business from our bedroom, like literally from our bedroom. This is something that I know for a fact can help so many people out there, including you. Now, even if you're focused on your direct sales business, good, use these, use all of these. These will help you grow your business. But hey, maybe you know what? Just like me, right? Maybe your husband or your spouse can also, and they have a passion for something. Well, what are they doing while you're working your business? Maybe this is something that they can start putting to use and bring in an extra income stream into the house. It doesn't take as much time as what you think. In fact, I still work a normal nine to five job. I say nine to five job. I run 10 retail stores, right? So I'm on the clock all the time. I'm a salaried worker. I get up at 5.30 in the morning. I get my son off to school and then I get ready and I start my job at about 7.30, 8 o'clock AM. I leave the house, I visit a couple stores. I'm back home by six-ish. I hang out with my daughter and my kids, give my wife a kiss. And then when we put our daughter to bed at 8.30, we get to work. And we work on this stuff. I mean, right now, it's like 10.45 at night on a Wednesday, getting it ready for a Thursday publish date. This is our hobby, but our hobby's given us a cool ability to create new income, but also to help people. And that's what's really cool. If you guys haven't seen yet, like how to pick a niche that you can build an additional business in, I'm gonna go ahead and put that up here in the description for you, or up in the tag. Check that out because there's something you're passionate about. There's things that you know that you can help a beginner in and take all of this and create a business for yourself. I hope this has been helpful for you guys. And if, again, if you guys want to see our story and how we created a business, I'm going to go ahead and put that video like right here, but also too, check out some of the other videos on our channel. If you haven't yet, click the subscribe button. I've got new videos all about this stuff coming out twice a week. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.